What's good guys, this week SpaceX sends some rich dudes into space, scientists make old skin young again, why a crypto billionaire drives a Corolla, how Richard Dawkins helped a jihadi become an atheist, and Darwin's stolen notebooks are finally returned. SpaceX has sent four rich businessmen to the ISS, and when I say rich, I don't mean your great uncle who has a boat and flies premium economy, I'm talking Scrooge McDuck rich. While it's not clear exactly how much they paid, Axiom Space, the private startup that's coordinating these flights, have previously said that tickets are about 55 million US dollars. The crew of four blasted off in the Crew Dragon capsule on Saturday and were welcomed onto the ISS the next day, where they will stay for the next eight days, conducting science experiments, breaking bread with the professional astronauts already there, and enjoying the incredible views of our Earth. The crew is headed by a former NASA astronaut and current Axiom employee, a real estate tycoon, a shipping CEO, and a former fighter pilot slash businessman. This is no doubt just the start of a burgeoning space tourism industry that maybe one day our great 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 grandkids will be able to enjoy once it becomes affordable for us. Have you enjoyed enough beers and ciggies in the sun that your skin's looking a bit like beef jerky? Don't worry about putting in the hard work to change your lifestyle, that's old fashioned. Just get your skin rejuvenated with delicious, nutritious stem cells. Scientists at the Barbraham Institute in Cambridge recently collected skin cell samples from three human donors that had an average age of around 50, then exposed the cells to Yamanaka factors for just 13 days to partially anti-age the cells. They then removed the Yamanaka factors and left the cells to grow. The team found that the epigenetic clock of the cells matched the profiles of skin cells that belong to people who are 30 years younger. So what are these magical Yamanaka factors? They're the four specialist molecules that reverse cell development, and they were discovered in 2007 by Shinya Yamanaka at the Kyoto University. Do you love genetics? Check out our two most popular books on genetics at The Thinking Shop, Hacking Darwin by Jamie Metzl and Lifespan by David Sinclair. Both are available at the link in our bio. What would you do if you were a young billionaire? You'd treat yourself to some nice wheels, a fancy mansion, maybe start a YouTube channel showing off your lifestyle. Not 30-year-old Sam Bankman-Fried. His net worth is estimated at around $20 billion, which he generated over just a few years as CEO of crypto exchange FTX, but he still drives a Corolla. Why? He says you very quickly run out of exciting ways to spend your money. But he's found a way to make use of his fat stacks, all thanks to our mate Peter Singer. Sam, like countless others, read Peter Singer's philosophy as a teenager and was forever changed by it. First he became passionate about reducing animal suffering, and then he got into effective altruism, which is all about reducing human suffering. Since then, he's been giving at least half of his salary to effective causes, which is very inspiring. If you want to be inspired by Peter's work, grab a copy of one of his most influential books on effective altruism, The Most Good You Can Do, from our shop. And if you're into philosophical ethics, check out our Thinking Academy course starting next month. More info at the link in our bio. From jihadi to atheist, this is the story of Musa Serantonio. Musa, now going by his birth name of Robert, grew up in Melbourne to Italian parents. He had a pretty average upbringing, but went on to become one of Australia's most notorious jihadis, inspiring young people to join ISIS through his activism and preaching. In 2016, Robert was sent to Port Phillip Prison, where he's been ever since, until next year when he's released. While some inmates become more radical or violent in jail, he's the opposite, and that's thanks to two special and surprising figures. Richard Dawkins and Alexander the Great. While in jail, Robert read The God Delusion, and like many of us, it made him a full-blown atheist. As for Alexander the Great, well, that story is a bit more complicated and you'll have to read about it in Graham Wood's recent article in The Atlantic. It is absolutely fascinating. Once you finish reading that, grab yourself a signed copy of Dawkins' Science in the Soul at our shop and we'll send it off to you, even if you're in jail. It may be Good Friday tomorrow, but librarians had a fantastic Wednesday last month when they will finally return two missing notebooks belonging to the late Charles Darwin. In 2000, some assholes stole Darwin's notebooks from the Special Collections Vault at Cambridge University Library. One of the books contained Darwin's famous Tree of Life sketch, which shows his earliest theory on the origin of species. For many years, the librarians thought the book had simply been misplaced, but in 2020, they completed an in-depth search, including fingertip examinations, which led them to believe that the book was most likely stolen. After pleading to the public for information, just last month, the book was returned wrapped in a pink gift bag and with a plain brown envelope with the message, Librarian, Happy Easter. 
sign decks? Is it an angry religious person trolling an atheist icon? We don't know, but we will be watching this Darwinian Easter mystery very closely as the police continue their investigations. That's all for this week. Hopefully we'll catch you at our Brian Green tour which kicks off in June or at one of our upcoming Think Inc. courses that start back up next month. Find out more information at the link in our bio and I'll see you next time.